Hello Aquarius and welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you the messages for the month of August and we're going to look at the sun, moon and rising sign of Aquarius, love, career, family, finance, whatever comes through this reading I'm going to relate to you and also we'll look at your side uh, throughout the next two weeks and then if you'd like a glance into you know for the following two weeks to help you plan and prepare uh, that will be extended so right off the bat what I'm getting for you guys is this incredible story I'm gonna tell you it's not really fun but it's not it's kind of ick but bear with me because it really makes a lot of sense you know, as we go through our, our major life changes, and it doesn't matter if it's a spiritual awakening that you do or do not call it as any kind of huge changes in our life, which we can see is, is taking place all around us. We begin to recognize parts of us where we rise up, right? Where we start making those changes and overcoming some of the adversities that we've had to deal with in life. So, <laughs> along our journey, we will always reach a certain point, right when we're ready to make a breakthrough, right when we're ready to, and you may see the sun going in and out, the clouds are going over, <laughs> and the wind comes and goes too, but we reach at that point where we're ready to make that move, and then like something comes in, and it tests us. You know, and a lot of us believe that maybe that's the angels coming in and testing us. Maybe it's our own self, whatever it is. As soon as we're ready to make that that move to book the class uh, or to make some kind of move, there can be a lot of adversities. And the message for you is my dog story. Those of you who do not know my dog, his name is Captain Lovebug. And he comes on every now and then. He usually sleeps under the desk while I do these readings for you each and every week and month. And I'm gonna uh, be doing it a little bit different. So please subscribe and I'll be announcing that um, soon. The message for you guys is stepping over the crap on the way up, okay? And it's all about testing. It's all about being able to overcome those adversities. So the story is my dog, he is a golden retriever and he's one and a half years old. And he is so super strong, he can knock me down, okay? The dog is like, he pins me down sometimes. And he's like, get off me, I can't get him off. He's an absolutely beautiful dog, the most gentle dog ever. But he had an ear infection, so we had put some medicine in there and it kind of got his ears kind of started matting right at the base and, and whoever was cleaning him didn't, didn't get all that out, so it did mat up. And I noticed it when I was walking him with his gentle lead, which I need. Anyway, long story short, I had to get his nails clipped. I wanted them to clip that off because I knew it was uncomfortable. It was causing him pain. He didn't want to, he didn't like it. Who would, right? So we get in the car this morning and we're driving down to the pet uh, grooming place to get him taken care of. And along the way, he's pretty, he's doing good. The closer we get to the location, he's been there before. The closer we get to the location, he's starting to get a little more anxiety, right? How dogs do. So we get to the pet shop and, and he's okay getting out. It's just like kind of like exciting anxiety. It's not like he was afraid to go in. We walked in, he was okay. Went back, he saw the woman, he was a little okay, but he started talking to the woman and she was very nice. As I went to leave, another woman came out and got my dog and he kind of did not like her at all. And he started pushing back. So. When they took him back, he didn't want to go in. He struggled. He didn't want to go back there. He didn't like that woman or he was afraid on what was ever on the other side of that door. Whatever it was, his dog did not want to go to the next level. He didn't want to go beyond the gate, right? So I went and I looked for a new harness for him because his wasn't working. It wasn't, fit. it didn't fit right. And I was talking to the girl and I came back with some. He came out. And it was the right one, wrong one. I went back, I got what I needed. And while I'm standing there looking, all of a sudden, and, and Captain's walking around, you know, you bring your dog in the store, Captain's walking around. And I catch a whiff of, ugh, you know, and I 
catch a glance of him over here. So I took a step back to see what my dog was doing and my sandal went right smack in a, on top of a pile of crap. My dog had pooped right there, right behind my foot. Like, it's like he knew I was gonna step in it. And yes, he's very temperamental, by the way. He throws temper tantrums. So I spent about 25 minutes trying to contain my dog while I was cleaning this up because you have to clean it up yourself. But he's pulling me because his, remember his gentle lead didn't work so he didn't have it on. So he's like trying to pull me through the store. Long story short, again, we get up to the front. I'm getting ready to pay for things and he's yanking me right out the door. This dog did not stop. He did not look for cars, which I taught him to look for cars. He went right to the car and he went, I'm ready to go. He dragged me out. I just dropped the, the items on the ground and went back in to pay. But Anytime we have to go to a next level, there's always this uh, uncertainty that comes in. There's always this fear of what's on the other side. And that's what blocks a lot of us and it stops us from moving forward. Now the testing is going there without a, a guide on him, knowing he can yank me just like he actually did. Uh, him pottying right there on the floor and me stepping in a pile of crap and being, it's just the whole thing. And then we got home <laughs> and he threw another temper tantrum. Uh, when I came back in the front room, he peed on the floor on purpose. He'd already been outside. He came in, he peed on the floor and looked at me and went, mm-hmm. So it's those challenges and it put me behind all day long. But now I'm still keeping my promise to you, although I would have liked to have had them to you earlier. They are going up for you, uh, all these readings. And I share this with you because the adversities in life, the, uh, that's what stopped us in the past. The past is gone, you guys. This is time to rise up. And I know, I know you guys feel it because while I was calling in Archangel Michael to help me get this reading for you, I saw the three of... Pentacles, and that's about having a skill set, getting that certification, getting the education, getting whatever it is that you need in order to move into that next level. But oftentimes we get stuck and we're afraid to make the next move, the next level. For some of you, it's booking the class. For some of you, it's taking the program, uh, applying for the job, applying for something that you may not have ever experienced before. You know, we're all moving in different directions now, myself included. I'm still going to do these. And by the way, my readings are open at Ascending Souls Journey. I just recently opened them up for you guys. I have been on a hiatus. But, you know, we start moving in a different direction. And when it feels out of our element, when it feels like uncertainty we don't know what's on the other side that's when we really need to analyze this situation so after an hour had passed of him and i ignoring each other the dog and i ignoring each other i walked up to him and he was calmer and everything and i said look it doesn't hurt and i touched him and then i touched his nails and i said it doesn't hurt because nails were like bare nails <laughs> they were like <laughs> oh yeah you got me too and when I did that, I saw in his eyes, he just went, oh. It's like he recognized, oh yeah, that's what I went there for, right? He went there to get that taken care of and he didn't know. He didn't know what was on the other side of that door. But when we analyze the situation, we can really begin the seven of pentacles, looking at those adversities, pulling in uh, the lessons of all of those things you've learned in the past. Okay, pay attention to how you feel all of this. He felt like he did not want to go in there. But sometimes we have to do things we don't want to better ourselves, to stepping in the crap in order to wipe it off and get a brand new pair of shoes. <laughs> right? So you guys are, are getting ready to really come into something with this nine of cups. And that's about a wish coming true. Something is getting ready to come through for you in those first two weeks. Something that you've been wishing for, hoping and praying on. With that seven of pentacles, that may say a lot about 
whatever you're working on, you've invested a lot in it. That's really a lot of time, a lot of energy, and even looking back on the past to look for the lessons, that's a lot of time, that's a lot of energy. And we can go through that. It can take quite a while, right? Now, when it comes to you and this opposing side, yeah, we've got the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is about you sitting in this particular deck, is sitting on a rock, <laughs> okay? And this person is looking at the cups, half up, half down. And the cups in the tarot is all about emotions. That's about our feelings and um, how we want our investment as far as uh, love and emotions, right? This is somebody you've been dealing with or a situation that you've been dealing with that you have invested a lot in. And you may have been feeling like, well, maybe I need to let go. And that's, it fits exactly what I said. And you guys saw these cards who flew out. I don't, I don't, I don't have time to play that game. I'm, I don't need the cards to give you these messages. I can look further, right? So it's like, when we put our heart and soul into a business, into a career, into a relationship, and it's not working anymore, we either have to step in the shit and wipe it off and get a new pair of shoes, and sometimes we can get something that's better. Whatever this is, now we have the Queen of Wands next to it, and the Queen of Wands is a very uh, fiery, passionate, kind of an energy so for a lot of you you're dealing with this right now it's like i need to find something that's going to refuel the passion in me and that story may have had a lot to do with whatever you have felt guided to do whatever you've been tested to move into it may have something to do with animals it may be time to let go of that past career and move into something new for a lot of you, it is a relationship, and this would be a relationship that you've really, really wanted. And when I say wanted, it doesn't mean actually somebody coming back from the past. This is something that you feel is gonna satisfy you emotionally, fulfill you, you feeling good when you're with this person, right? And the Queen of Wands is this, uh, comes in as a very charismatic, energetic, very mesmerizing, almost a hypnotizing type of an energy. But this is about you letting go that old part of you where that fear of making that next step. And when we aren't paying attention, we'll step right on top of it every time, right? You know, and, and all of the adversities on the way home, somebody almost hit my car, cut me off, and everybody behind me went, whoa, in the cars, you know, it's like, because we got a rogue one on the road. So it's like, we really have to pay attention to what's going on, but remember those lessons and pull them forward. Some of you are getting ready to meet somebody new that you're gonna find very attractive. But again, it's letting go of the old that no longer work. So getting yourself looking good, feeling good, and stepping into this new beautiful you. When we overthink things, and I'm an Aquarius too, when we overthink things, we can get stuck and sit there too long and then get that fear all of a sudden comes in. And there is a lot of underlying fear in this energy where it even postponed me a little bit longer on doing it. It's like, whoa, so, so, somebody, uh, some of you in this group, this is a very big deal to you. This is, I, that's what I mean. This is like a big deal. Stepping into your personal power of who you are, stepping onto a podium. Whatever this is, is a very big deal for you. And it's a very important thing for you to be dealing with. Now, when it comes to this relationship side, whether it's family, friends, romance, a soulmate, twin flame, it doesn't matter. Love is love, right? This is, this is like creating this spark in this relationship and trying to find a way to, uh, remove the old and bring in that new without letting go of the memories. You know, when we're looking at lessons, which is actually about air. So this is really all about you, air signs, all about air, right? Alcos. 
But when we're looking at those lessons, we can choose and pick in our memory what we want to keep and what we want to let go of. So letting go of the ones we don't want and, and saying, okay, I don't want that again. I will never do that again. I won't, I will look for this. I will pay attention to this, whatever it is, right? And that's what empowers us to move into this new you. So for a lot of you, you're just really getting ready to do your hair different, get it cut and colored and, and just pop. But you have to go through the tests to learn how to step over it, to see everything coming around you and know how to remove it and continue to move forward and continue to shine in your true em empowered you. So you guys, if you like this, you like my, my style, please subscribe, share, and if you want to see the details on this and go a little bit further into the following two weeks into, uh, I mean, uh, not two weeks, four weeks of depth on this, we're going to really dive in this on Vimeo. Have an amazing week and much love.